Generic greetings and welcome back to Siege of Centauri. Today's beverage is uh, double strength lemon squash or cordial, depending on where you're from. And I don't think I've put enough water in it because my gums are starting to recede. I do like a strong beverage, but that might have overdone it just a little bit. <laughs> anyway, in the previous video of Siege of Centauri, we were messing around trying to do some more three star missions and we got it to two star and then tried it again and up the difficulty and it just didn't work out. Actually, no, sorry, we got it to three star and then we tried it on nightmare difficulty and then we failed completely, which put it back to zero star, which was not great. But we now have another mission, which is Gaul, and this is now the beta two. And among other things, there's been several changes additions, and now there is the, I was going to say ability, but it's more the need to equip your towers. So you can see we have a number of towers here, which we can, if we want to, just say default, and it will pick the towers that we are taking with us. Sadly, not all of the towers are listed in here. I don't know where some of the really big towers were, like the... Um I can't remember the name of it, but there was a, a really, really good um, tower that I liked that was stupidly long range and stupidly uh, big damage, but it's not listed here. I don't know if it's been um, removed temporarily while the rebalance stuff, but anyway, I digress. Um, and now we have to equip our towers, which we have done. You can see that this one here, we have the destroy all enemies objective, which is the standard one for one star. We've got upgrade the colony to level three, that's fair enough, and prevent the hooded turbine, which is a new enemy, from reaching the colony. So this is this one here. Combines a strong shield generator with powerful engine and attempts to rush past defense so it's going to rush very quickly towards our base so that one and upgrading the colony at level three go sort of hand in hand so that's sort of pointing towards us perhaps defending around the base i think so i think that's probably what we'll do um, anyway, I digress. There's nothing red here, so we don't need these SAM sets, which is why the game has not given us those. But we do have 11 points in order to upgrade our towers. So what sort of towers do we have? Well, we've got particle cannons, corrosion mortars, all the things listed here. And the towers have up to three upgrades, mostly two or three for... Uh, for them, I think, yeah, two and three is generally the, um, the one. I haven't seen a, a one-rated uh, tower there. Um, and I'm just going to check to see what sort of towers we need. So we've got some Mascus, which are individually weak. They are very fast, though, and accumulate to an overwhelming effect. Uh, Martyrs, uh, slow frigates equipped with shields. Okay, not great, but that's a lot of shielding. More Masochists, Destructors, Martyrs, Eradicators, Hooded Turbines. So it looks like at least half the enemies are shields. So we want to pick things that will do a lot of damage to shields. So we've got the Iron Cannon, which is... Is, uh, well, that does heavy damage to shields for a start off. Uh, we've also got the Pulse Cannon, which is ignores enemy shields, which we could just go for ignoring their shields. That could be quite good. Um, we've also got some upgrades here, which is increase the range by 25%. Let's do that. That's for our Pulse Cannon. We've also got uh, a small chance to stun the target for three seconds. That's really good. And then Mass Fabricator. Reduction in the upgrade and build cost. So let's go for that. So we'll fully upgrade the Pulse Cannon. Corrosion Mortar, one of my favourites, but I don't think it's going to have much of an effect here. Particle Cannon, uh, strikes targets with 1.9 terajoules of streamed energy, uh, affects ground units and needs line of sight. Um, we've got Graviton Beam, which slows it down, increases damage by 25%, improves power source range by 25%. They're all okay, but let's have a quick look at, say, the Ion Cannon. Uh, ballistic Payload, an actual payload which can do physical damage to the target. Okay, that's not too bad. Shield Disruptor, um, which is the EMP orbital ability, now overloads the shield generators of the affected units, dropping any existing defensive shields. Ah, okay. So that means that even though this is a tower upgrade, it upgrades our orbital slash global abilities. I would have assumed that in like a future beta, there would be equipped towers and equip um, abilities, but maybe that's not the way we're going. Anyway, I think we're going to get that. In fact, we're going to go with all of these. Ballistic Payload, Shield Disruptor, and improve uh, the range by 25%. That's our Ion Cannon there. In terms of the drone bay, we've got reduction in upgrade cost. We got uh, what's this? Double the amount of reinforcements provided by the reinforcement ability. That's brilliant. That, we don't even need to build a drone bay. Just having it with that is good enough. And also repair drones, release drones that repair surrounding damaged buildings and units. Um, that could be good actually, and we'll place one of them just near our base and upgrade and, and heal the base. That yeah, it's not too bad. Um, so particle cannon. I don't think we need to. Do that. We well, actually haven't got that huge honk and space cannon that we usually have. Um, maybe arc projectors, uh, lightning attack. No, don't need flying enemies. Increase the damage by 25% uh, is okay, and increase the range as we upgrade. So not brilliant. Scavenger module. We've got provides 25% additional metal when rushing waves. Um, 
that's okay. An efficient assembly. The first scavenger module is free. Ah, it's fairly rubbish. When you consider that the light rail gun, you can get one to six turrets are free. <laughs> and also piercing um, piercing shells increases damage and cost by five, uh, 50%. So we go from what? 50% uh, up to uh, 75. Uh, yeah. But that would be... Hang on. So if we do that and that, it means that the first six are free, but they double the price. So double zero, still zero. Yeah, it's just if we place if we if we buy more after that is the problem, isn't it? Um Okay. Okay. I think what we'll do is we're gonna go for three, six, seven, eight. Do we wanna go for reduction upgrade and building an upgrade cost? We might do. And then perhaps uh twenty five percent additional metal when rushing waves, and then the first six turrets are free. I think that'll be okay. We'll try that. We can only try that. We're going to go on normal difficulty uh, and we'll see what happens. I don't anticipate coming close to winning this. Um, the general rule at the moment is that you just lose a lot of time until you figure out which is the best build. So looking on the map, we can see that we have our colony to the far west here. On the northwest, we have a metal refinery. On the southwest, we have a fission reactor. Uh, north, uh, sorry, a south east we have nothing and then the northeast we have an outpost which has no military use so and no objective to save it so we can forget about that completely objectives are destroy all enemy waves for one star prevent the hooded turbine from reaching the colony for two star and upgrade the colony level three for three star so i think that has to be something that we focus on getting that colony upgraded so the waves we're going to get a masochist from the east we're going to get a martyr from the east we're going to get a masochist from the north and a masochist from the south now so let's just check that so from the um there's no waves by the look of it from the west there isn't so from the east this is the only east way so it's going to swarm along here and then go through the center from the north it's going to swarm around here and then go to the center then from the south South, it's going to swarm around here and then go at the center and probably uh, these will probably go for that fusion reactor and then that fusion reactor there so the main defensive area is in and around here and also actually really close to the base like this corridor here and this corridor here so we'll probably go for something like that what i might do is just spam uh, i'm not going to spam some of these towers because as you can see the range is fairly poor um maybe some drone bays some drone bays around there so things are always getting hit um if we place one drone bay there uh one drone bay probably um i'm thinking where's the best place for it one over here and then one finally down here but we don't have that and to be fair i should have probably placed that one first uh drone bay we'll probably place it there and that should hopefully be able to deal with all of these. I'm actually going to rush the next wave because I know it's from this side. And then we've got our masochists coming from the north. So those require probably probably going to go for pulse cannons and just pulse cannon the way out of the situation. We could go for that, but do I want to wait for them to come around here or do I want to pulse cannon them around this area? I think we'll place them around here for now and we'll see how that gets on. We can hear some explosions on the right hand side. That is the drones taking care of business and most of these I would assume are going to get destroyed by the time we get to the centre because the drones here might go for that. Um, they are not, so I'm, I'm actually going to have to place some reinforcements there, so already not a great start, but We'll see how we get on. Um, we've got some maskers that I can rush from the south. Uh, was uh, then dealt with. Um, so there's loads of swarming stuff. That's fine. I am going to... I want to really upgrade the colony as fast as possible. Oh, there we go. There's some of our martyrs coming in through the centre there. We can see that our pulse cannons are taking care of business quite nicely uh, and destroying the majority of that. They won't get all of it, but we'll get hopefully a fairly decent chunk. What we'll do is place a pulse cannon in there and a pulse cannon in there and then start worrying about the centre um, because that's where this big swarm is going to come from. Um, we've also got some more that we can rush from the right and we now have got these tanks coming from the north which I'm probably going to not do anything with. I want to upgrade my colony. You see, oh, actually no, these are the big tanks. Right, now we're going to place some more of these definitely. Let's place them like so and hopefully we'll be able to take care of all of those. I will probably place another one of these towers in there and we have got stuff coming to the base so I'm going to spawn some more reinforcements and those will take care of that quite readily. Down the bottom, nothing there and you can see that these cannons here are now hitting the martyrs we're going to send the um, extra reinforcements to this side and that will hopefully be able to deal with this big swarm because we're going to have loads of these because remember we're getting double the amount now which is fine uh, in terms of the pulse cannon we are going to place a pulse cannon in there um actually in there and in there because they are going to come this way and probably attempt to go from there uh, and that's an ion cannon that's not the thing i wanted at all i'm going to destroy that ion cannon because i wanted a drone bay 
which accounts for why that didn't work out over there. We're going to place a Milton, get a Milton on the go there. I'll place another, well, place a drone there, not another one. We'll place one in um, probably this corner here, just so we can always go to the centre. Looks like our reinforcements are taking care of business in and around here, as well as the drones. And Milton is absolutely slaughtering all of the uh, bits up the top there. That is excellent. Right, so the next wave we are going to get from the right-hand side, which, oh dear, I was going to say let's rush it, but perhaps not. Uh, we've also got these eradicators here, which are coming in. A lot of these are actually getting stunned as well, which is fantastic. Let me just place some more guns around here. I really wanted to upgrade some of my... Uh, I want to upgrade this colony, but it looks like it's not going to work out. Um, some of the shields have been uh, ch uh, have been cut off some of these, but yeah, they are taking a hell of a lot of damage. Uh, we're going to bring Milton around this corner, although I don't think Milton is long for this world anyway. And they are now into the base, and they are going to start hitting, hitting us here. Um, how far is Milton away from dying? Uh, Milton is... Uh, not too bad. He should be okay, I think, for dealing with these, but we'll see how we get on. So let's place uh, some of these towers here. Uh, so we're just going to keep spamming the pulse cannons, ignores enemy shields, just because of the amount of shields that they have. And you can see Milton is getting absolutely hammered, so we're going to place some reinforcements there. Um, I'm just hoping that these tanks have taken enough damage. Yeah, they're taking a fair amount of damage, so hopefully... Well, they, they're definitely going to go and destroy that fission reactor. That's just going to happen. There's nothing I can do to really stop that. Let me rush the next wave, just because I want enough to upgrade the colony. Not only does it give us some more uh, HP, it also, I believe, upgrades the guns, which is very welcome indeed. I want a drone bay around here, um, just because... That will allow us to then repair this thing. So placing a drone bay probably there is fine. So we've got our fast movers from there. We've got the mobile nullifiers, which will be appearing at some point as well. Uh, but how are these big tanks here? Them big tanks are coming around. We're going to save up our energy for the eradicator there. Um, yeah, they are getting around, but they're not, not too bad. Let me get a pulse cannon in there, and I'll probably upgrade that too the next level, although it does require a lot of money. With the beta and all the changes, I'm uh, not entirely familiar with a lot of the stuff that's been added, so that's why I'm uh, that's why I'm struggling on some of these missions now. Uh, we're not going to rush these. Uh, I might rush the one from the right, though, just to get some more points, and um, probably get just some upgrades, I think. I was in there, upgrade that pulse cannon. Wait until that one's landed and then upgrade that pulse cannon. And then this one up north, I'll probably deal with a Milton. <laughs> I'd use, I'll probably just use a Milton, quite honestly. Um, I just think these ones around here, we do need to get uh, upgrade to the, as much as we can. Although I don't think I can get the next upgrade until we have... Oh, it's just, just money. It's just a money problem now. Right, Milton's going to come into play. Uh, there's a Milton. I will also place some reinforcements as well, just to get some guns in there. You can see there are drones that are repairing that as well. Uh, it doesn't look like they repair the colony which is a bit of a shame and we've also got a hell of a lot more uh, tanks coming in there so let's place some uh, some of these here and oh looks like this is all kinds of bad Milton is dealing with the majority of the tanks but uh, at least from the north but we've still got the ones there um, from this area it looks like the pulse cannons have been dealt with which is fantastic um, Oh, so we've now got the ones on the right-hand side with the mobile nullifiers. So what I'm going to do is uh, probably get them in there and then start to upgrade some of these cannons. Are there any more down south? Yes, they are. These ones here, so we're going to keep these in play. I was going to say get rid of them, but let's perhaps not. Um, we haven't got any more units coming on the uh, right, so I am going to destroy that just so I can start upgrading these pulse cannons, although I have nowhere near enough money. Um... And do I want to rush the ones at the bottom? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. No, I need enough metal as well because we lost our metal uh, refinery. There's the uh, really fast movers there. Uh, we can probably place a couple of things to slow it down. Although, by the look of it, the pulse cannons are dealing with it quite well. Uh, whether or not these are going to be dealt with is... Uh, oh, no. They are getting dealt with. <laughs> they are all kinds of getting dealt with. Um... Yeah, look at that. They're getting absolutely hammered, these things. Or at least the first one was. Uh, we have got a problem coming in the centre here. Yeah, I could use an EMP to take them all out. Um, but I don't think we need to just yet. I'm going to keep that... Um I'm going to keep that under my hat for now. Actually, no, I'm not, because they're getting in there. Let's get them all with a bit of a stun, which removes their shields and means we can carve right through that thing. 
I'm going to go for an upgrade on these pulse cannons, which is not ideal. Uh, the timing's not ideal anyway. And looks like we've got these fast movies coming around. I am going to place these in, but I don't think they stop. No, no, it looks like they are stopping. They are stopping to try and deal with those. And you know what? I think we might have this. We might have it. Um, we haven't got this upgraded to the top level, though, and I don't think I can. Um, if I destroy it, will I get more money? Um, no, it's not going to give us any more money because basically there's no more waves, so we can't get that colony to level 3. And that's a shame. I wanted to get it at a higher level. That's a shame. Um, they've not yet reached the base. They are trying. They really are trying. <laughs> but uh, I think that's them. And I think that's uh, making a note here. Minor success. Um, a new achievement achieved. Doesn't say what it is. Um, we are on uh, leaderboard 279 for our uh, first attempt. Or actually, not first attempt. It's a couple of attempts. Um, I have failed it a couple of times. Uh, five waves rush. Time required 9 minutes 45 to win. Two star rating, 1,131 enemies killed. So the only thing we didn't do then is upgrade the colony to level 3. And I think if I was just a little bit better in the, um, with the placement of things, we could probably have done that. We probably could have done that. Hmm. So what is the next mission? It is uh, one down here. So mission 16, and that's all kinds of green. Don't allow the gliding current to drop units. Uh, destroy 500 enemies with power cells and destroy all enemy waves. In terms of equipment, if we go for default, it is giving us the full lot and also <laughs> an additional upgrade point. Uh, so we got some uh, gliding cranes and some punishers. We've seen the punishers before, but I don't think we've seen the gliding cranes. I assume they fly down and drop off units. The Scarab, slow but more hardy version of the Reaper Swarm. Mullify, uh, Nullify we've seen, Clutch of Eggs we've seen, um, and the rest I think we've seen as well. But there you go, that's our next level. Okay, so happy with that. Um, yeah, I do like the, I like the way you equip the towers. I don't know where a lot of the other towers have gone. I assume, perhaps wrongly, they've been removed for balance purposes temporarily while they uh, tweak and change some stuff. Or maybe now it's a case of you can only pick, I know it, it used to just give you the towers for each mission. Um, but if we say go to cancel and go to the very first mission, um, does it allow us to equip? No, it's the same stuff. It is the, it is the same stuff. So, oh, and actually we're getting more upgrade points because of the star ratings. Ah, okay, right. So getting these higher up is going to give us more stars, which means give us more missions and then obviously hopefully unlock some more towers and stuff. Um, I know a lot of these aren't um, yet in the game, like the ones on the right-hand side there, but um, we've got ones that are there, and we've got one there and there, so there's still several missions for me to do, um, but uh, yeah, I'll have to see if I'll see, see if getting some uh, higher ratings there. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this little bit, little, bit, little extra look at uh, Siege of Centauri. I'm um, excited to see what's being added, uh, what gets added, and what uh, gets chopped and changed and stuff, and um, I think I'm going to go back to some of the easier missions, or some of the earlier missions, should I say, and try to complete them at, not high difficulty, but certainly get the uh, the stars there, just for the upgrade points and such. Not that that won't, that, not that that'll affect a massive amount of things, because the majority of our towers there, I think there was only, uh, what, there was the pulses, um, and drones, and that was, you know, that was the majority of our towers, so getting upgrades on towers that you don't want is not really... Not really a big thing. But anyway, <laughs> that's been a bit of Siege Centauri, as I said. Hope you have enjoyed the video. If you want to see more of them, by all means, let me know. Thanks for watching. Take care, and generic partings.